Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the West Seattle Bull Pro Shop. Today we got an interesting video for you. Uh, we're gonna take a look at what is in each of our bowling backpacks. Uh, some of you may not have a bowling backpack and some of you may have a bowling backpack. And so uh, for cross-referencing or for some mild education, we're gonna see uh, what might be similar in our bags, and what might even be different. Uh, to kind of kick us off, we're gonna have Echo show us what is in her bowling backpack. Hey there, all right, my name's Echo and I'm about to show you what's in my bowling backpack. Obviously you can see I don't actually have a physical backpack, but you might be interested in knowing, hey, well I have a bowling bag and it holds my shoes and my ball, like why do I need anything else? This is why. We're gonna show you what's in our backpacks or what's in our bags and how you can use it to help benefit you, especially if you're going to a tournament. So I'm gonna start out with my shoe bag, which right now only has my shoes in it. Um, and a spare, a spare pair of socks. Um, and the reason I keep them separate is because as I take some of these other things out, um, if I go to a tournament where I have to fly, I keep my shoes and some of these other things separate and check this bag and then carry this on with me. Because there are certain things when you fly somewhere that you know you're gonna need and if it gets lost in luggage, you're gonna be terribly upset and it's gonna be hard to replace. So, my shoes are one of those things, so they stay separate. Next time I wrist brace, you may use one, you may not, but that's one of the things that also goes in with my shoes if I fly, so that I know that I have it. Could I replace it if I went somewhere else? Probably, but maybe not. Next out of my bag is ball cleaner. This is something that has to be checked because it's obviously way too big to go on a plane with me. So it's gonna stay inside of my little bag. This smaller bag basically has all of the things that are super essential for me for bowling. So um, in particular, it has thumb holes. I have three. Um, and these, if I fly, are gonna go inside of my shoes so that again, if for some reason my balls get lost or something, I have my thumb holes and my ball, I can get new balls if I need them. I'd rather not, but I can. Um, and then I have my thumb holes if I need them. So that's great. Also in this little bag is new skin in case you get a blister or a rip. I don't use it very often, but it's one of those things that if you need it and don't have it, you're running down the lanes trying to find somebody that does. I have this little guy that has easy slide in it. I keep it in a separate bag because I don't like it to get all over everything. Um, and also there are some restrictions on putting it on your shoes, which I don't put it on my shoes, I put it on my thumb. Um, but this way it just keeps it all contained a little bit better. I have this bag which has a multitude of thumb tape, thumb tape that goes on your fingers or in your thumb holes. Um, if you don't use thumb tape in your thumb hole, um, I highly recommend you start. It's an easy way to kind of size, um, little bit by little bit, how your thumb hole fits. More thumb tape. Can you tell I'm obsessed with my thumbs? If you can't, you can now. Um, alcohol prep pads. So this is probably not why you would think that I have it in my bag. I actually use these to clean my wrist brace because I don't know if you've ever had a teammate that has a wrist brace and they don't clean it. If you don't know somebody that doesn't clean their wrist brace, you will pay attention now because it does not smell pleasant. So alcohol prep pad is to wipe down my wrist brace. More thumb hole tape. Ah, a change it. Um, change it's are for changing your thumb holes if they get stuck or if they're hard to get out. I have hair ties because hair, fingernail clippers for obvious reasons, um, and scissors because you never know when you might need them. That clears out that bag. Um, Aberlon pads. Um, Aberlon pads are for changing the surface on your bowling ball. This has to be done before you actually start scoring, but it's a good way to kind of be able to affect the shape of the roll of your ball. 
Um, salon paws, because I'm old and my back gets stiff or my legs or whatever. So there's that. Um, a small envelope with some cash because why not? <laughs> um, a grip sack for keeping the moisture on your hands down. We're getting down to the bottom. We're almost there. A chamois for wiping the oil off your wall, which if you've watched some of my other videos, you know I'm not super good about, but I do have one in there just in case. And then last but not least, it's time to get uncomfortable. I have a tampon because I'm a girl and sometimes you need those. Um, at any rate, as you see Tanner and Ben, you'll see that some of our things overlap some don't they may have things in their bags for different reasons um and you can see how things that they have in their bags or things that i have in my bag might help you what's going on everyone um i'm gonna be showing you what's in my backpack uh, i'm fairly a minimalist as far as it goes for things that i take to tournaments or league uh so let's get into it first thing is water bottle gotta stay hydrated um, the other thing is, is that I don't really know what's in my backpack, so we'll just go with it. Uh, XL thumb tape. Use it all the time, no matter what, when I bowl. Uh, I got scissors, a couple pins, I'm sure there's more in there. Uh, IT thumb grips. And have a small vice uh, tape knife that goes with me everywhere somehow it hasn't been taken out of TSA so I think I've had this one for 10 years more pins a ton more pins can't go wrong with pins you know somebody needs to write their score down <laughs> another thumb I'm telling you got plenty of them uh, Deck of cards from the Silverton in Vegas. Haven't even opened them. I'm telling you right now, this, this backpack has seen probably 20 different countries for bowling. So, you know, it, it barely gets cleaned out. Let's just put it that way. Uh, a lot more thumbs. Some that I could probably get rid of. Uh, some tape, which I know I have more than this, so tape. Uh, skin patch, but no new skin that I'm aware of. I feel like I got one more thing in here. Oh, there it is. Super glue for grips. All right, uh, let's get into the next one here. Nothing in that pocket, that's good. All right, here we go. Avalon pads, uh, go with these everywhere. Change my surface quite often. Always looking for a better reaction. Never leave home without them. Big roll of tape, there's the other tape. Grips, lots of them. Never know when I ne might need to drill a bowling ball. Have a, quite a bit extra. Both sizes, ring and middle finger. Uh, this looks like shoe accessories that I never touch. They probably pulled them out of the box and threw them in my backpack and said, yeah, they'll just live in here. IT bottoms. That way, if I have to drill a ball, I'm not being charged for it. I can tell them I already got it. Um, that's it for that one. Big, big pocket. Chamois. Every video you see me throwing a bowling ball, you're probably gonna see me throw, using one of these. It's just part of my pre-shot routine. Got my shoes. Always take those with me. They always travel in the backpack. This backpack goes on the plane with me no matter what. So everything that you see on this table so far is probably going on a plane and not in the checked baggage. Got an extra shoe slide i don't know why it's not in the that case but there it is 
Uh, one thing that not very many people have, koosh ball. I just like playing with it. Sometimes I'll throw it at other people when I'm mad at them too. Um, a backup chamois for my chamois. And nothing in that pocket. So there you got it guys and gals. Um, what you see on the table is what I take with me. Again, I'm, I try to be as minimalist as possible. A lot of things I can probably get from a pro shop if I absolutely need it. Uh, a lot of my stuff is just stuff that I find that I need the most of. Um, so with that, we'll hand it over to Ben. Again, I like playing with this koosh ball. I don't know why I pulled out more, but we'll see when Ben comes up. There you go. All right, what's up everybody? It's my turn to find out what's in my bowling backpack. And the first thing is this thing itself. This is the backpack. So I choose this one because while a little bigger than I might need to hold just bowling stuff, it uh, serves two purposes. It holds bowling stuff and it also holds things that I'm traveling with, clothes, toiletries, things like that. So I'd rather have less luggage than more. And so it kind of does a good job of both. It's probably been around with me for the last 15 years. And so uh, there might be recap sheets from a decade or more in here and that kind of thing, but uh, we'll find out together. So, so this first pocket here, I like a backpack. Uh, that has a quick access thing for things that I use all the time, whether I'm bowling or whether I'm out. So if I have sunglasses, whatever kind of things like that, they'll go in here. But in this particular case, uh, chapstick, uh, I bowl a lot in Vegas uh, throughout the year. And so Vegas being pretty dry as well as other places, um, that helps. Uh, eye drops, same thing. Uh, I have sensitive eyes, they get dry pretty quick and so uh, eye drops are a, an absolute necessity for me. If I don't have eye drops with me all the time, then uh, I feel like I'm in trouble. So eye drops pretty key. Listerine pocket strips, just in case you eat that disgusting chili dog at the Orleans, uh, this helps a little bit. So. Uh, gum, I don't really chew a lot of gum, but sometimes when you're waiting around and going through TSA, that sort of thing at the airport, kind of helps, but uh, you can tell I don't use it. It's completely full and smashed and probably from 2009. So there's uh, some gum. Uh, I got some side pockets here. Uh, Echo and show nail clippers have those too. You never know if a grip just isn't fitting right or something like that. Sometimes that can be all the difference. And so when you uh, need them, uh, you can't really replicate what they do. So there's that. More eye drops. I have a feeling that we might have an eye drops pile here. So we're gonna set them up, set them up there. More eye drops. Um, dry hands don't feel good when you bowl. So some hand lotion um, that I use after I'm done bowling. I don't use it before I bowl because it makes holding onto a bowling ball kind of tricky. But after I bowl, uh, that's a pretty good one. Oh, definitely more eye drops. So there we go. More eye drops. Uh, why, why do I have so many eye drops? Uh, because I feel like I need them all the time. If I can't quickly find them, I just open up a new box or buy more. And then at the end of a month, six months, a year, a decade, I just, I guess I wind up with a lot of eye drops. So um, I don't tend to use this too often from uh, injuries to my hand bowling, splitting, cracking, tearing stuff like that. Um, but if it does happen, um, some ointment, especially with the pain relief in it, put a bandaid on it, um, especially if it's multi-day tournament, the next day it could feel a lot better if you had this and rather than having to go run to a CVS in Vegas and stuff costs a lot more than those CVSs, uh, just have it in there. Don't use it very often though. Deodorant, because you bowl on a team often and sometimes that's important. So, uh, that's it in that pocket. This pocket here, this one is probably one of the most uh, used things that I have in my bowling backpack. This is the thing of wet wipes. Um, washing my hands, I just like having clean hands while you bowl, and so it does a good job. And then you're traveling, airport, stuff like that, super convenient. They cost nothing, and they fit into anything, so that's a really good one. 
uh, <laughs> Caesar's gold rewards card for if I wanna go hit up uh, the roulette table. I don't know what year this is from, but um, that's, there's that. Okay, nothing in that pocket. All right, we get into the secondary main compartment. And that's where I'm gonna have Aberlon pads. Um, I'm gonna have a mix of fresh ones and ones that are used. Sometimes you want that in-between grit. Sometimes I want that in-between grit. And so I have a couple of different things. Um, one thing about these though, is I prefer to do my surface changes with wet Aberlon pads. And while I don't have a full spinner with pouring water um, afforded to me if I'm bowling a tournament, a uh, little pro tip, you can easily just get a cup of water from the snack bar and uh, a little bit of water on a pad, kind of wring it out, goes a long way. Just kind of do it. You have a little microfiber towel to kind of dry it all off. Makes your stuff kind of nice and consistent and smooth. So there's that. This bag, I don't tend to go in too often, uh, but you never know. So this is the you never know bag. Uh, bowling ball cleaner. Uh, this is in the you never know bag, not because uh, you never know when you might want to clean. I just get lazy, so it just goes better in here. Grip sacks and that kind of stuff. I used to use them more than I do now. In fact, I don't really use them now, but if for some reason I needed something, I have like actual rosin, something a little less grippy in a grip sack. And for some reason I need some slick something. Easy slide can do different things. Not supposed to be on your shoes on approaches these days, but uh, also why this is the once in a while bag. Not very often. But this one, I can't leave home without this one. This one is critical. I can't bowl without this bag. This has my soles and my heels for my shoes. I never know where I'm gonna bowl. I could bowl somewhere with high humidity and all the approaches are sticky. I could bowl on approaches that are just ice skatingly slick. And so these just help me feel comfortable wherever I go. It's a really quick change. If you don't have shoes that can change the soles, or the heels, uh, something maybe to think about saving up for. So, critical for me. All right. Now the main compartment. It's kind of broken into two things here. Um, this, I would say I use pretty fairly often. This is a power bank and they come in different sizes. Things to kind of plug in, you charge your cell phone, charge your, if you have a laptop for some reason you need that charged, charge your buddy's cell phone, whatever. Uh, I don't know how often you go to tournaments, but from what I've found is there are a lot of bowling centers that have outlets, but they don't necessarily work. And so if you need your cell phone to be working for an emergency call, a work call, or whatever, keep yourself occupied with Candy Crush, uh, this is critical. I just feel comfortable just having this around, knowing that I just have some power. Um, so that just goes in this little case there. Uh, Theragun, if my muscles are sore, this is the little travel one. It is super small. It works super strong, su super well. So uh, if my muscles are a little sore, a little achy before, after bowling, this is awesome. All right, now for some of the more nitty gritty stuff. Uh, these go together. Grips, extra grips and some glue. I don't tend to need to change my grips too often nowadays. I have kind of the form-fitting vacuum grip stuff for my fingers, and so my grips kind of just are what they need to be in that moment most of the time, but you never know if a grip pops out, now what are you gonna do? Can't use that bowling ball anymore, so super important. Can't have a bag without extra grips and some glue, glue those in. Uh, loose cash. <laughs> I might have looked at my bowling bag uh, earlier this week, and there was way more loose cash annoyingly than uh, I thought there was. This is just some ones for things like the vending machine or you're playing poker with your buddies or the bracket table wants you to pay in cash. Uh, good to have it. Also your wallet does a good job of holding that stuff. Uh, pens for uh, doing your recap sheets at a tournament, writing down your scores or writing down notes. If you go to a tournament multiple times throughout the course of your life and you want to have notes from the previous year or previous years, notes work, although now in this day and age, I don't tend to do that in a notepad as much. I just use my cell phone and type stuff in. I'll just look up a quick note. 2022 such and such tournament, kind of have some notes, but old school uh, never lets you down too. 
Sharpie, same reason. I don't really know why I have a Sharpie in here actually. All right, and then the last little bit here, we have uh, an accessory bag, which doesn't have a whole lot in it to be honest with you. And the most important thing in my entire bag, and maybe most of your bags, is gonna be your shoes. So. Uh, my shoes, like I said, you can change the soles and the heels. A lot of shoes can do that nowadays. So, like I said, if it's something within your budget, um, and there are different price ranges for shoes that do that, highly recommend. Shoe covers, because walking into the bathroom or to the vending the machine or down to the casino or out to the parking lot, and you don't wanna have to take your shoe off. You never know what you're gonna step in. Shoe covers are a must. Two, just in case one, the, the pivotal slide one gets messed up, so. Oh, shoe trees because you're flying and your backpack's getting smashed by other people's luggage, going through TSA, little conveyor belts. Uh, I hate squished shoes. And so these keep your shoes shapely. So there's that. And the last bit that's in my backpack is uh, just gonna be a couple things. Um, this is sort of like my main thing. When I go bowling in league or at a tournament, the things I take out almost exclusively, shoes, and this thing, and eye drops. That's probably about it. So what's in here? Not a whole lot. Uh, this little part here, some tape. It looks like there's not a lot of tape here, but there's probably about 50 pieces here. Um, some protective tape for my fingers if for some reason there's something going on, but lately it's been pretty good, so I haven't been using that so much. Uh, this little pocket here, this is my primary thumb that I use most of the time. And I swell and shrink like lots of people, but the one that I tend to go to the most is gonna be this one, so just a little quick access. But then in this main here, it's got my other thumbs. So I use Vice, Vice Interchangeable Thumbs. So if your thumb changes sizes while you bowl, you don't like constantly fidgeting with tape and getting it to feel right, different thumbs all ready to go, screw in, screw out. Uh, are a lifesaver and for me a must so I have different sizes and on each one I have the size uh, scribed into the side so I know which one I'm reaching for I need a tighter thumb I know I would go this one and I have a few screwdriver that's of a size that can fit in here and a size that's easily uh, capable of manipulating tape um, you can use tape insert tools to me, they're usually plastic and they don't last very long. They don't do a good job. A small old school eight inch screwdriver uh, works really well for me. Bandages, I guess, are in here for, like I said, if I cut myself or something, but I, these, who knows how old these are. Just, that doesn't seem to happen to me too often, but you never know. And then last but not least, things like cutting tape or whatever, uh, I'm gonna have scissors. Uh, good scissors, not just crap scissors. I like good scissors that, these are hair cutting scissors. So they're extra sharp. They don't get as gummy quick. They can cut through a lot of different things, you never know. And then this helps me take grips out, and put grips in, so um, there's that. One thing though I will add before I close out here is that when I'm traveling on an airplane, not all of these things can go in my backpack um, into the main cabin. Um, some of those things are gonna be things that maybe have a little more liquid than you might need or definitely sharp things. So these scissors, this, maybe this thing of lotion. Um, these things would go in my tote that I'd check on with my balls. Uh, they have space in between the balls. It's amazing what little things can fit in there. And those things are all fine to go into an airplane as long as they're just not in the main cabin. So sharp things are okay, just pack them accordingly or they'll be thrown away as you're going through security. So. That's about all I have in my bag. I'm gonna close out by bringing us all back in. What's up everybody? Welcome back. We got us back here. And uh, that was what is in our bowling backpacks. If you at home haven't yet put together your own bowling backpack, uh, hopefully some of the things that we have in ours give you some ideas about what you might want or need. And if you do have a bowling backpack at home, we'd be really curious to find out what's in yours that we might be missing because uh, we're super down to always improve our own bowling backpacks. So yeah, let us know in the comments what you got that uh, we might find helpful in our own bags. So uh, anything else, guys? Uh, bigger table. Bigger table. Yeah, bigger we need a, this table is ridiculous. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're going to find a better table, bigger table, 
for the next uh, uh, in front of the balls video. So, but uh, until next time, uh, we'll see you in the next vid.